President Adam Abara on Thursday, June 27, 2024, delivered his annual State of the Nation address before lawmakers at the National Assembly in Banjul. In his address, Barrow described the Gambia's 2023 economic performance as a success, highlighting that it exceeded Sub-Saharan Africa's growth rate projections, reaching 5.3 percent. He said his achievements was, or this achievements rather, was accredited to the Gambia's commitment to economic growth, stability, and prosperity, including efforts to reduce inflation, address vulnerability, and maintain sound fiscal policies. Our reporter Khadija Jallo has the details. As part of the constitutional requirement for the president to deliver the State of the Nation address annually, it serves as a platform for him to engage with the National Assembly members and discuss government policies, activities and plans for the country's development. In his SONA 2024 address on the country's economic growth, President Baru highlighted the economy's progress in 2024, mentioning that International Monetary Funds has approved a 100 million US dollars credit facility to support the government's economic recovery and structural reforms for enhancing the country's development. In 2023, the government economy surpassed the projected growth rate for Sub-Saharan Africa and stood at 5.3%. This resulted from our commitment to economic growth and prosperity, reducing inflation and our debt vulnerability while maintaining prudent fiscal policy. Over the years, we have been implementing a series of public financial management reforms. These are reflected in such initiatives as the update, updating of the 2014 Public Finance Act and formulation of a new public procurement bill. We have also rolled out the integrated financial management information systems, if missed, to all local government authorities, created, created the state-owned enterprise commission, and enacted the Anti-Corruption Act 2023. The reforms seek to increase physical transparency and accountability. As a welcome development, the International Monetary Fund has approved a new 100 million US dollar extended credit facility arrangement with the Gambia, thereby further supporting our economic recovery and structural reforms. President Baru also mentioned that in addition to the 25 million US dollars threshold program supporting electrical and water transport projects, the Gambia has been chosen to establish a 300 million US dollars development compact with the United States through its MCC, boosting more economic growth. In addition, different from the 25 million US dollars threshold program to support our electricity and river transport development endeavors, the Gambia has been selected to develop a 300 million US dollar development compact with the United States through its MCC. Strategically, we recently launched a 1 billion US dollar recovery focus national development plan IRWA 2023-2027, which builds on the progress made during my first term in office. I am optimistic that the economy will continue to grow stronger. The State of the Nation addresses a significant event that outlines government's priorities for the previous year and the years ahead. It also gives the President the opportunity to discuss about the country's progress, policies and plans, thereby bringing transparency and keeping everyone informed about the nation's direction. President Barrow's comment on the economic growth shed light on the country's financial well-being and understanding the country's economic status and initiatives to drive growth and development. For African News,